Hi, welcome to my channel, the Machine Learning Engineer. Today I will show you how to activate Docker in a new uh, distribution that you just installed in uh, Windows or System Linux. Uh, obviously, to, uh, the first requirement that uh, you need to fulfill is to have the Docker desktop installed in your host uh, machine, in this case, in your window. In, my Windows machine because I'm working with the uh, with with the Windows system Linux. This means that you inst install uh, or you want to install a new distribution and you want that uh, Docker be the backend or the Docker uh, desktop, uh, and also you want to be able to operate Docker uh, from this new install it uh, Linux distribution in Windows or System Linux. And then on, you can check, uh, first of all, what do you have in uh, already available. You can see here that I already had integrated this with a Ubuntu 22.04 distribution. Um, and now what we are going to do is to install a new uh, distribution. In this case, I will install a Debian. And, uh, and after that, I will activate the Docker support and then we can start working with that. So to install the new um, Linux distribution, you just go to um, a Windows PowerShell. You can check with WSL list online the available distribution that you had in the Microsoft Open uh, Microsoft uh, Market. Uh, here we had Ubuntu, Debian, Kali, different versions of Ubuntu, Oracle, Linux, Oracle, Linux, Open Source, etc. So you can choose whatever uh, you want from from this list. In the in my case, I will install Debian. But it's exactly the same for the rest. It's gonna take uh, short seconds. Now you provide a name, provide a password, repeat the password, and that's it. You obviously add uh, now inside the uh, new installed uh, distribution, your Debian, and obviously you don't have uh, the Docker. You need to activate it. You just leave the installation. You return to the Windows Assistant Linux. You make a refresh. Remember that this is settings, resource, WSL integration, and now appears. It's not you can click refresh and that's it. You just activate it, apply and restart, and you return to your uh, to the Windows PowerShell. Do a login again. To do a login in your distribution is just WSL distribution, the name of the distribution, in this case Debian, at the user that uh, you uh, create at installation time. You enter and now uh, you execute Docker, you have it there. So this way, this is the easiest way to do it. There is others, but well, uh, if you are working in, in Windows and you have the desktop, this is the easiest way to do it. You can, uh, it's fully integrated. Now you can, uh, how to say, work in both sides. You can create dockers in the, in the, um, in the in the desk, in the UI you can create dockers here you can manage images in both sides and this way well it's the again it's the easiest way to to activate it uh, in in after the installing a new new Linux distribution and that's all very short video today uh, I hope you you like it and you find it useful and informative and it is like that. Please give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you didn't do it before, um, share with your friends and colleagues if you think it's useful as well for them. Thank you very much.